Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build your own 3D website in virtual world using Muse. Let's get started. Right now I am on the home page of Muse. This is Muse HQ. Now, the first thing I do is talk to Mort. Mort will help you get logged in and signed up so you can start building your virtual world today. Next, let's walk over to the builder table. The builder table will hold all of the worlds and websites that you have created with Muse. When you click on a world, you'll, you will be given four options. Change your URL, share it to Reddit, share it to Twitter, and finally, go to the builder. Going to the builder is what we will be doing today. Going to the builder will allow us to edit and build our virtual world using one of our templates. Welcome to Builder Tools. All you need to do now is to click the space bar to open and close the editor. Now let's click Gotcha. Okay. The first thing to know about Builder Tools is when Builder Tools are closed off, this is how people will view your website. When Builder Tools are toggled on with the space bar, this is how you will view your website when editing and actually building the website out. Now let's turn Builder Tools off again. Let's turn them back on. Okay. The first thing to go over is how to upload images and videos. Immediately, you will notice that parts of the websites light up and get highlighted depending on what is selected. This is how you know that you're editing the right part of the website. Let's click on a picture frame. You'll notice that when I click on it, I'm now given several options in the options panel. I can upload a file and I can select if it's framed. Let's upload an image. We're gonna to click to upload. And now we will upload this image. Let's just click open. Continue, and there we go. Remember to click the check mark so it's saved. Okay. What if I want to edit the overall template aesthetics and access those settings? What I'm going to want to do now is to use my cursor and select the wall or the floor. As you see here, this will allow me to select the overall template now. Now I can choose global settings and alter the global settings of the template. Let's click open. So now we toggle off open and now walls are added. Let's check it again. So now the walls are removed. Let's select nighttime. Right now it's on nighttime, but if we turn it off, it is now daytime. Let's turn it back to nighttime. Finally, if I wanna change the title of my website, where I sign on there, all I need to click is in that text box and type in my name. That's what I'm gonna change it to, Ben. I'm gonna change it back to Muse because I don't wanna mess with my site right now. Alrighty, that is how you upload assets into your virtual world or 3D website. Uploading videos is the exact same way as uploading images. All you need to do is click to upload. You're going to select the video and you're going to click open. Right there. Now I'm not going to keep that, so I'm going to click undo. This is the undo button. The undo button and the redo button are your friends. Because we are still in early alpha with Muse, you're probably going to want to use the undo and redo button to fix a lot of the bugs and mistakes that you might find through our builder tools. Let me demonstrate again, redo, undo. Next, let's change social links. The way you're going to change social links, so you're going to go up to these buttons right here. You're going to click the options panel. Now it's going to allow you to put in any link that you want. 
All you're going to do now is type in your favorite link. And now it will link to that URL. Something cool about our links and our buttons is that you can actually put in links such as your Instagram or perhaps you want to put in your Twitter and you'll notice that the icon will automatically change. Now I click undo again so I can go back to what I wanted it to be. Now let's take a look at this lonely Instagram button right here. I don't want it there. I want to hide it in the world. How do I move this button around? All I need to do is click on move. Now I'm going to select my button. I'm going to hold it and now I can walk around and position it anywhere I want. So now I'm just going to hide it because as of now, we don't have any way of adding or removing buttons, picture frames, or any sort of component in the site. So this is the best way to hide things or to remove things right now. It's just hiding things in your world. Now I'm going to click undo so I can bring it back. As you can see now, the button is back here. A couple more things to check out is to rotate. Rotate works exactly the same way as upload and move. You're going to want to select the thing that you want to rotate. Let's select that Instagram button again. Let's click the X axis. Now if I click and drag on the button, it'll rotate on the X axis. Let's do the Y axis. Now if I click and drag on the Y axis, I will, it will now be rotating on the Y axis. If I, tr if I click and drag on the Z axis, it will now rotate on the Z axis. So you can see right here. Now let's play around with scale. Again, same thing. We're going to click on scale. We're going to click back on our Instagram button and we're going to drag it out. Now there is a little bit of a bug on here. So you're going to want to just kind of fill around and drag it to the best of your ability. As you can see here, finally got it going. And we're working on these to make this experience a lot smoother for you. But as you can see now, my button is a lot bigger. Okay, how do I publish my website now? Well, as you can see here, I kind of made some bad changes to my site. So let me undo that. Undo, undo, there we go. We're back to where we started. This is why the undo button is super important. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to publish your website. All you're going to do now is to click publish. Your site is publishing to muse.place slash muse. It takes a while to publish your website around maybe one to two minutes. Once you publish your website, all these changes here will be permanently saved and anyone will be able to view it with this URL right here. If you need additional help, just click on the help button and call us for help. All right. Now I hope that you have all the tools and knowledge to start building your own virtual world. I am excited to see what you build. Take care.